What I want to talk to you guys about is why we moved from using iMovie to using CapCut. How do you pronounce CapCut? CapCut. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. You're watching Hey, Yancy Fat. So we're cooking cheesy egg. And we're gonna eat cheesy egg. What are you cooking? Cheesy egg. Okay. Now I want the apron. So it will get dirty on my shirt. Ah, uh, okay. So now, oh, you already put the egg. So, cheesy egg. What else do you put on a cheesy egg? On um, eggs. And? And cheese. Okay, so let's start putting the cheese. Warm. Yeah, but don't touch the pan because the pan is too hot. Yeah, so the eggs will there. Go, go, go. We put cheese and I can cook it. But you guys have to learn how to cook so that later on you can help yeah. daddy make breakfast. Okay. Okay? I can, I can, I can cook so I'm a big sister. Oh no, Zainan is complaining. What is it? Say hello, hello everyone. Bye. Welcome Bye. to our channel. <laughs> so today is day 44 of 365 days. Are you excited for today? Uh, what are we doing going. today? Well, daddy's working. Um, so you have to ask mommy where you're going. We're going to Africa. Okay. Uh, high five, Zena. Uh, high five. Uh, high five. Uh, no? Uh, ah. What I want to talk to you guys about is why we moved from using iMovie to using CapCut. How do you pronounce CapCut? CapCut. <laughs> so we moved from using iMovie to CapCut and I'm telling you right now, we wouldn't be able to edit our daily vlog the way we're doing it right now. We'll probably be behind, I would say like how many days already, maybe even weeks, if it wasn't for us changing our video editor. Before 2023, we were using iMovie. The way we edit, it took a bit longer. When we moved to using CapCut, then we've noticed that things are so much easier, so much faster. I would say half of our videos were edited by CapCut and half of our videos were edited by iMovie. And there's so many things that we love about CapCut compared to iMovie. And the good thing about that is both of them are free, right? So iMovie comes packaged with either your iMac or your MacBook. So that one's good, it's free. CapCut, you could also download it for free and be able to, to work with it on your computer. So again, we never had to spend an extra cent when we had to move to a different video editing software. So I'm gonna talk to you about six main things that we feel really made a difference in our editing when we switched. So the first thing is auto captions. iMovie doesn't have it. And that's the good thing with the CapCut AI is it has auto captions. So it, you can easily generate auto captions with a click of a button. It's not perfect, but at least you don't start from scratch and you don't need to work with the timings of when things are said. Thing. The second thing is different and multiple layers in the timeline. So when it comes to iMovie, you can only put two videos, two audios, and one text. I think that's it. That's fairly limited in terms of what you could do when to editing. When we move to a different video editing software, really being able to have multiple layers. I think there's three videos you could do, multiple text layers, and multiple effects, multiple stickers. You could see how, how the video can be put together, how you could be creative just by having that multiple layers of text, of videos, of music. And in that regard, it, it wins by a mile compared to using iMovie. We've found that it's so much more convenient and so much easier doing it with having multiple layers that way. So the third thing, and I think this is the biggest reason why we did it, is it supports different operating system. We all know iMovie only works with 
Mac OS. Maybe you could make it work with Windows with, with some additional steps, but when it comes to CapCut, you can install it in Mac, you could also install it on Windows. We're able to utilize all the resources we have at home. So I can I can work on our computer downstairs, which is running Windows, or I can edit it up here in our office, which is running Mac. And that's the beauty of it, because now I'm not just limited to just coming up here and then editing it here. Having support for multiple operating system really made it so much flexible for us where we want to edit it and how we want to edit it. And it leads us to the fourth reason with CapCut is we're able to collaborate. Because now what we could do is I could start working on a project in let's say one of my computer. And maybe I'll just start splitting, cropping, trimming, all those things, maybe putting some caption. Once I close that project, I can move on to another computer, open that project, and start working on it. And the good thing about that is I could do all the splitting, like some of the menial tasks that doesn't require a lot of processing power. I can do that on a computer that doesn't have a lot of processing power being able to do that now we can we can start working together so we we start working on different projects at the same time where michelle is finishing up and i'm starting on the next if you've watched my vlog about explaining how we store our video files and our media files we put it in a nas and both devices have access to it so that's the only thing to note because if you're storing it locally in each computer, then they won't have access to each other. And if you try it and it doesn't work, you can always uh, uh, comment down below for tech support. Maybe I can help you with that, right? And number five is there's so much more creative tools. There's different effects, there's different filters, there's different transitions, there's different audio. So all these little things, all this creative tools when you add it to your video it makes your video much more exciting much more fun to watch and even you yourself that's editing it makes it more fun too so that's the good thing about having more creative tools it's available you you can use it if you want you can start incorporating it slowly you don't have to use it but the fact that it's available makes it so much better and the last thing that for what we use uh, video editing for is the text templates there's so much text templates that's available for social media even youtube specifically when we worked with imovie so what i did was i imported some videos from canva and i tried to overlay it into the second layer of video and that's how i was able to put like subscribe button like all these things then add so much work and that's why sometimes when we edit it takes us like a week to finish a video but with CapCut, like they already have pre preset text templates you just add it into the video and then set what word you're supposed to to show and voila now you have a nice looking like text to describe whatever it is that you want to describe in the page at that moment so that's basically it like there's so much reasons for us to switch to a different video editing software from iMovie to CapCut. Similar to iMovie, you can do it on your phone. But this time, again, since it has support for different OS, you can download it on Android as well. So it's not just limited to an iPhone or an iPad. When you're looking for a good editing software, I 100% would recommend CapCut. We've been using it for the past 40 days or so. And I don't think we'll ever go back to using iMovie in this case. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for, for listening. Again, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. If you learn some tips or tricks, then don't forget to follow us. All right? See you on our next video, okay? Hello, everyone. We are well. You're watching We Are Geek that's it for today. our family day and don't forget to like and subscribe and remember, share, peace and smile.